Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome to Advanced Class 55. All right, moving moving along through the material here. If you were listening yesterday, you'll remember that I was very excited at the end of last of the last program and I got carried away. Yes, I was talking about so many different things and I lost track. I did. I lost track of the time and I wish I had had more time. At that time I wished there were more time, but there simply wasn't. I ran out of time, and I didn't get a chance to properly do justice to this verb, the verb to wish. I didn't have a chance to explain it as well as I would like. So, um, we can talk about it now, to wish. Now, uh, we take a step back in tense with this verb. I'm not rich, but I wish I were rich. I wish I were stronger. I wish I were taller. I wish I had a mansion. I wish I had a Rolls Royce. I wish I were. I wish I were. Now, notice I'm saying I wish I were with the verb to be. Not was, but were. Okay? I wish I were. I wish I spoke perfect Spanish, but I don't. I wish I were taller. I wish I were stronger. Okay? I wish I were now, similarly, if we are speaking in the past, well, then we have to go back before the past, essentially, which is the past perfect. So, I didn't win the lottery last year, but I wish I had won the lottery last year. I wish I had won the lottery last year. I didn't win it, but I wish I had won it. Yes, I didn't see him, but I wish I had seen him him. Okay? So, we're taking a step back in tense. Right. Now, I mentioned yesterday the verb to hope, which is not covered in at this point in your, in your student guide, but I think it's worth mentioning to hope because this is another way of saying ojalá or eh, esperar. So, hope. Hope is an assessment of desire. I hope that I win the lottery next year, okay? But it's similar to wish in that we say, I wish I had won it last year. I wish I had won the lottery last year. I hope I win it next year. So it, it's not, not quite like past and, and present and future, but it's sort of a question of whether or not there is possibility of an outcome. So imagine I'm playing cards. I'm playing blackjack, okay? Blackjack, which is the goal of blackjack is to reach a total of 21 on on your cards without exceeding 21 or as close to 21 as possible without going over, without exceeding it. Okay? So imagine um I have good, good cards, but I need an ace. I will definitely win if I get an ace. And the dealer gives me a card, but it is face down, boca abajo. It's face down. It's not face up, boca arriba. It's not face up. It's face down. He gives me a card face down, and I think to myself, I don't know what this card is, but I hope it's an ace. Because if it's an ace, I'm going to win. If it's an ace, I'm going to win. I hope it's an ace. Espero. I hope that it's an ace. And then I look at the card, and it's a two. I lose. Oh, man, I lose. I just lost. So I look at the card, and I think, wow, I just lost. I wish it were an ace. Now, the card was given to me in both cases, and the only difference is... In the first case, I knew what the card was. So I say, boy, I hope it's an ace. And then when I know that the card is not an ace and that it's a two and that I've lost, I say, I wish it were, verb to be, I wish it were an ace. Mm. 
It's not an ace, but I wish it were. And then I go home, and I'm telling my friends about the game of cards, and I said, boy, I wish it had been an ace. And then we can talk about our next point, which I didn't get, I didn't have time to talk about uh, yesterday, which is, if only, if only I, if only it had been an ace. Oh boy, I would have won. If only it had been. If only, which is essentially the same as I wish. A little bit less common, substantially less common. But if only, if only. If only I were a millionaire, if only I were taller, if only I were the same, grammatically behaving the same way, if only I were, if only it were, if only I had, if only we were luckier, we would have won, okay? And similarly, if we're going into the past, yeah, the same, just like the last example, really, if, if only yesterday we weren't lucky. If only we had been lucky. We would have won. If only. If only we had been lucky. All right? Very good. Expression of the day. Yes, it's time now for our expression of the day. The expression of the day today is to bite the bullet. Como? That's right. To bite the bullet. Bite, as in morder, the bullet, like the bullet from a gun. To bite the bullet. And that means to finally take some initiative and do what has to be done. I don't like to do it, but I have to bite the bullet. Maybe you don't like studying English, but you one day you say, you know what? I have to bite the bullet. I have to, I have to force myself. I have to take the initiative, bite the bullet. And do it right now. Make the effort. I have to go out. I have to buy the books. And I have to sit down and sacrifice the time and focus on it. I don't have time to play games. Let's bite the bullet. Let's get down to business. Let's get serious about thing this and do it and accomplish it once and for all. Right? Let's accomplish it for good. Para siempre. Let's make the effort. Maybe it's a bit uncomfortable, but we're going to have to work hard if we want to get this thing done. So let's bite the bullet and do it all right and sometimes maybe that's the best advice well i think i I think yesterday i gave you the best advice ever but uh i think i said that 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 was my the best advice i could give you which was uh, i believe my advice yesterday was not to overanalyze and just study 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 right macha carlo study over and over until you internalize the structures but uh, this is also very good advice is sometimes to bite the bullet, take the initiative, work hard, and keep going. Okay? So, now uh, now we can, well, move on to, well, move on, but again with I wish. I wish. So here, now looking at the question structure. So, ask me if I would like to earn more money. And you can ask me with the word wish. Do you wish you earned more money? Now, of course, you could say, okay, would you like to earn more money? Or you could say, do you wish you earned more money? Yeah, I wish I earned more money. Ask me if I'd like to be happier. Do you wish you were happier? Well, of course, I, I'm a happy person, though. But, of course, everyone wishes they were happier. Yeah, you can never be too happy, can you? Ask me if I would like to have a drink. Do you wish you had a drink? Yeah, I wish I had a drink. I wish I had a drink. Okay. Very good. Very good. Ask me if I wish the government would lower taxes. Kyle, do you wish the government would lower taxes? Yes, I wish the government would lower taxes. Hmm. Ask me if I wish my brother would win the race. He's in a race. Kyle, do you wish your brother would win? Yes, I wish he would win, of course. Okay. Ask me if I would like... uh, Ask me if I would like to finish the report early. 
Kyle, do you wish you would finish the report early? Yes, I wish I would finish the report early. Yes. Ask me if I wish I had more free time. Kyle, do you wish you had more free time? Yeah, of course, of course. I wish I had more free time. I like being busy, though. I do. I like being busy. But I, yeah, I, I think I wish I had a bit more free time. That's true. I wish I had more free time. Yeah, definitely. Vocabulary of the day. All right, time now for the vocabulary of the day. That's right, the vocabulary of the day. Digno de elogio. Praiseworthy. Praiseworthy. That's right. So we have this, this word worthy. Worthy, which is appearing here in a compound structure, which is common. Worthy, essentially deserving of. So praiseworthy is essentially deserving of praise, merecedor. To, to, to deserve, merecer. To deserve, merecer. To be deserving of praise is praiseworthy. You can think of worthy as deserving of. Orgullo. Pride. Pride. Pride, yes, pride. Okay. And the adjective? To be proud. Proud. Mm -hmm. Antes de. Anterior a. Prior to. Prior to. To. It's like saying before. Prior to the football match, we, well, we, uh, we met at my friend's house. Prior to the match. Yeah. Or prior to the match, the players ate a good meal. A few hours before, of course. Fiable. Reliable. Reliable. Yes. Aconsejar. Asesorar. To advise. To advise. Very good. All right. Translation. Yes, it is time now for our translation list number six. All right. Moving along through the lists now. Translation list number six. ¿Me puedes sumir estas cifras? Estas cifras. Can you add up? These figures. Can you add up? Okay, sumar, to add or to add up. Can you add up these figures for me? Can you add up these figures for me? Cifras, figures. Siempre tienes prisa. You're always in a hurry. You're always in a hurry. Hemos tenido bastantes problemas con el nuevo sistema. We've had quite a few problems with the new system. We've had quite a few problems with the new system. Number four. Aprovecha mi generosidad mientras puedas. Take advantage of my generosity while you can. That's right. Take advantage of my generosity while you can, because I'm not going to be this generous forever. Take advantage of my generosity while you can. Number five. Puede que no sea tan generoso en el futuro. I may not be so generous in the future. Future, future, T-U, future. I may not be so generous in the future. Now, notice I'm not saying generous, but gen, g -g -g generous. I may not be so generous in the future. Very good. Number six. Es como si le conociera desde hace años. It's as if I had known him for years. It's as if I had known him for years. Yes. Number seven. En cuanto llegues al banco, llámame. En cuanto. As soon as. As soon as you get to the bank, 
call me. Number eight. Eres bastante más alto de lo que pensé. He's quite a bit taller than I thought. You can also say he's a good deal. He's a good deal taller than I thought. Or he's quite a bit taller than I thought. He's quite a bit taller than I thought. Mm -hmm. Number nine. Hemos sufrido una serie de contratiempos que están retrasando la producción. We've suffered a series of setbacks that are delaying production. Yes, we've suffered a series of setbacks. A series. Una serie. We've suffered a series of setbacks, contratiempos, that are delaying production. We've suffered a series of setbacks that are delaying production. Repeat, please, at home. We've suffered a series of setbacks that are delaying production. Very good. And number 10. Aparte de unos problemas al principio, todo anda bien. Aparte de. Aside from. Aside from a few problems at the beginning, everything's running well. Aside from a few problems at the beginning, everything's running well. Everything is running well. Everything is going well. Aside from a few problems at the beginning, everything's going well. Everything's running well. Él es con mucho el mejor jugador del país. He's by far con mucho. By far. Con mucha referencia también. Con mucho. Él es con mucho. He is. He's by far the best player in the country. He's by far the best player in the country. Él es con mucho el mejor jugador del país. He's by far the best player in the country. Number 12. Quedan bastantes. En esta lista no, pero, por ejemplo, quedan bastantes. There are quite a few left. There are quite a few left. Quedan bastantes. There are quite a few left. Very good. And we do not have any time left. So I'm going to finish there. But thank you so much for joining me. And I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same place. And remember, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to write. Go to the website, baugaranglés.com, log into your account, and send us a question. You can also reach me directly. My address is K M I L L A R. Como K Millar, K M I L A R, at vausis.com. V A U, de Baugan, V A U, S Y S dot com. K M I L L A R, at, arroba, at vausis.com. Send me a message, and if you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. You can always apply. Well, you can always send your questions in. The best way is through the website, bauganingles.com. Log into the account, send a question. Our team of teachers will answer the question, and I will address some of the questions on the radio as well. Get in touch if you have any questions or comments. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>